we're in Hamarana, Florida, and we're fishing for sailfish with Perry Farrell and his wife, Etsy. If we catch a big fish, I'm gonna see if I could stuff it and mount it on our wall. Yeah, 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 dinner, 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 yeah. It's a beauty, it's a little snapper. Yeah. Grouper, Etsy. It's ugly, but sweet tasting. Mwah. Do you feel that, that tension that's in a band? Did you ever thrive off that? It's really what makes our live show so great. It's all these roosters okay. strutting around, and we're out trying to out-cock each other. The pressure's on now. We got to get selfish. I got something. I got something. Whoa, Purple whoa, whoa look at this guy. That's him yeah, now. Yeah. Color. Whoa, baby. That's a nice hook up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Tom Colicchio, and I'm in the food business. From restaurants to reality TV, my true passion is fishing. No matter the size of the catch, I always love a good fight. And on my show, we've always got something or someone on the hook. This is Hooked Up. We're in Amarada, Florida, and we're fishing for sailfish. Today we're fishing with Cat and Billy. He's just a real character, you know, absolutely 100% knowledgeable about fishing and different types of fishing. Cat, Tom, how you, how you doing, pal? I'm good, I'm good. It's a lot of fun to fish with. I fish with Captain sometimes, they're grumpy and kind of ornery, but he's just a lot of fun to fish with. It just, it just makes it a great day. We got some reef spots picked out. We can go pick up dinner first. Dinner first? Dinner first. Some snappers, little grouper? Yep, yep. Okay. We'll, we'll try to do that. that. But I'm here for the sales. All right. It's prime season, we gotta get them. Yeah. Let's get them. <laughs> okay, dude. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I got a nice little sailfish. <laughs> That's really what I'm here for. This is prime sailfish season. Woo! I've had fish for sails before and they're just so exciting. And these fish are fast. I mean, they go up to speeds of, you know, 60 to 70 miles an hour. Right there, he's right there. Sure, he's got it. He's got it. And they jump and they're, they're colorful and they're just beautiful to look at. And so, awesome. you know, that's what I'm really excited about today, those sailfish. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna get a late start. Um, Perry, being the, the rock star, uh, overslept, uh, mm -hmm. missed his flight from LA. So he's gonna get here a little later. So probably about a 12 o'clock start. Some days you fish like a rock star and some days you fish with a rock star. I've been invited to go sport fishing with Tom and my lovely wife, Etty, who I bring on all my adventures. If we catch a big fish, yeah. I'm gonna see if I could stuff it. Yeah, and mount it on our wall. When I was a little boy, when we first moved to Florida, my father took me out on a boat to go fishing. He caught a big sailfish, yeah. I caught a barracuda. We accidentally missed our flight yesterday, coming to Miami from California. But we were lucky enough and fortunate enough to catch the red eye here. And you would think that we'd be tired and in a pissy mood, but we're not because we do this for a living. We get on uh, buses and planes right after gigs. And sometimes we don't go to bed for two, three days. So I'm fresh as a daisy, really. <laughs> We're foodies, so we really love to eat. We go out on tour, partially to entertain people and partially to eat. In this case, it's unbelievable. Tom Colicchio himself is gonna be cooking for us this evening, and that's why Etty insisted on coming on this adventure. You know, I never met Perry. Obviously, you know, I know his music. You know, he seems to be gung-ho every time he does something. I know he surfs, so I know he has a real love of the water. And so typically when you find someone who just really cares about the environment and cares about the water and wants to be out there, they're really enthusiastic. So I'm expecting that he's going to get in there and, and, and you know, really anxious to catch some fish. Here we are. How's it going? Tom, Good. how you doing? Hello. How are you? Hi, Tom. Hi, how are you? Hi. Come on board. Let's get this thing going. Thanks, man. Come on down. I know we just met, but I gotta give you a hard time. You know, 12 o'clock's a little late to get going, but hopefully we'll be all right. The fish gods are with us, I think. Yeah, but you're in luck. Usually our call time is two. Ah, all right, okay. So we're actually two hours early. Two hours, okay, all right, <laughs> all right, that's cool. We're gonna probably do two things today. We're gonna go out and go over the reef to get some food to eat for tonight. Awesome. So we'll catch like groupers and snappers and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then we're gonna move and we're gonna look for sailfish. That's, that's, that's the big game thing that we're looking for today. Love so it. Love Cool, it. all right, let's go. Okay. Let's get this thing going. That's a drink. It's time for a drink. I like to do tequila, 
and Clamato and orange juice with beer. This happens to go very well with fish. <laughs> Got a lot of snapper, grouper on it. You know, hopefully we get dinner tonight. We'll turn and burn and we'll run down the reef back up to the north. Looking for sailfish showering, get in some pretty water. Monogamy or free love? Well, any man would probably tell you that if they had their druthers, they would choose free love. But when a man gets married to a woman, your ultimate goal, outside of making yourself happy, is making your children, and especially your wife, happy. And if she's not happy with the old free love, you got to go with monogamy. To this day, I have the greatest time making love. So, you know, really what you've got to do is use your imagination. We're seeing if the fish come up in the chum. We have a chump slick out waiting for him to come to the surface here. Yeah, so we get the chum behind the boat. The fish will come in, smaller fish, and then after that we throw some live bait in there and get bigger yeah. fish up. Before we know, we got a frenzy back there. We'll add weight on here, Rod. Right here. Okay. We're gonna let it get right to the bottom. It's about 25 feet here. All right. And then, uh, here you go. Gonna cast out just like this. And then you're gonna hold on your finger, kind of feel for nibbles. Okay. That way you can just let it go back just a second, and then you push the bail over if you get a bite. If it pulls it out of your finger there. Okay, all right. Your little nibbles. All right. You grew up in Long Island, right? You are born in Queens, I guess, grew up yeah, in Long Island? Yeah, my family's out of Bensonhurst. Uh -huh. My father loved boats. He would take boats up to the Catskills. We had a little boat, like an 18-foot boat. I'll never forget, like, my dad used to love giving everybody rides on the lake up in oh, the yeah? Catskills. All the kids would, you know, jump on Al's boat. So you were a kid, you did the whole Borspell thing? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, okay. we did. You ever watch the entertainers that were up there? Because there was always like, you know. Sure. Yeah? Yeah, I got to see them some, you know. Some of them were, were pretty dirty, so they wouldn't yeah. let you in. Right. But some of the cleaner ones, yeah. And uh, burlesque was a big deal. Yeah. That was, it was uh, a great place to hone your craft. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Did that make you want to be a performer? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. But the whole idea of doing more for the performance definitely affected me. Like, I think that uh, my show has a, has a note of burlesque, if you will. Sure, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the sexy dancer. All right. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, there's fish all back. Yeah, there's yeah, fish here all we over go. here. We got something. There go. There's fish all over here. All right, I got something. Oh, we have oh, damn it. We really caught a fish with Jane's addiction. That's see yeah, now. Color. Whoa. Hi, I'm Tom Colicchio. Don't miss any episodes of my new show, Hooked Up. Click the subscribe button.